Welcome everyone uh, to another Visual Basic game programming tutorial. I am Ardaramis and in this tutorial I will be showing you how to create an NPC class for your game. Uh, yes, finally! We've all been waiting for this. I hope you're as excited as I am. Yay! Anyway, um, we are going to partially implement this. Uh, we won't be able to fully implement it until we actually have a map editor that uh, can incorporate the MPC class data that we create uh, into the actual map files. Um, so I'm not really going to be worried about going forward with uh, the project from the trigger scripting engine that we created before. I just uh, took a step back uh, for simplicity and I'm um, using the map from when we did our saving and loading tutorial. Uh, because this will not be a full implementation of the NPC class or um, we won't actually be able to add those NPCs to our map files, we're just going to be adding it to our map base file which of course would force our NPCs that we add to our map to populate across all of your maps. So without that added functionality we won't be able to fully implement it but at least you'll have an idea of how I'm creating my NPCs and you'll be able to create them for your own world as well. Hopefully in the future I'll be able to update my map editor to uh, in incorporate those capabilities. So, um, what you see here is that uh, map save load tutorial file. Um, again, I'll be adding the project source so you can download it uh, and work with that. Um, what this will look like when we're done, hopefully, is this. We will have three NPCs that uh, randomly walk about the map. Um, on a timer of, well, any speed that we choose to specify. Ultimately, I would like to uh, get to where we have dialog boxes as well and some sort of, uh, you know, text handling for that so we can walk up to these NPCs and talk to them. Pretty cool stuff. Aw, isn't that sweet? So, I guess that said, we can go ahead and get started. Alrighty. The first step of adding NPCs to your world, of course, is having graphics for your NPCs. So, um, I've prepared a few here for the project. Uh, you've probably seen them before. Um, I'm just going to use these ones that uh, I have. They are complete sprites, uh, sprite palettes with walk cycles for each NPC, which is pretty nice. And if you're wondering where I got those, no, I did not create these three by myself. Um, Rad Marvin is the only one that I've ever uh, tried doing myself, and it took a long time for me to get those right because I'm a very slow artist. If you're a good artist, I say go for it. Otherwise, um, from my website, there is a link that um, to an NPC designer, which is a really cool little uh, tool. It is in Japanese, so if you cannot read Japanese and that bothers you, uh, you can run this through Google Translate. Um, you go to translate.google.com and uh, just drop the URL in here and click that and it'll automatically translate the website for you which is pretty handy. So uh, it's really pretty straightforward uh, in either case. Um, this is the, the template, the character template, and you just select you know hairstyles and stuff that you want for your character. So I could add you know, all these little features, and you see them pop in here. You select your clothes. It's it's really an amazing little tool. Um, you can make quite a few different goodies. And uh, you can give them goggles and stuff. Or 
just a lot of fun. And when you're done modifying your character, uh, you just hit download this image and it'll download it for you. And you can save that PNG file straight into your uh, project folder and drag it in to your project. I already have a few of them made here, so I'm not going to go through that process. Um, in this case, I'm going to be bringing in, I already have Red Marvin in my project here, so I'm going to just grab these three here and drag them over here and drop them in my Tunes folder under Graphics, and I have messed up. Okay. Let's see. Come on. All right. I have to re scroll down here. Sorry about that. We're having a little technical difficulty. Okay, drag that over into my Tunes folder, and now they are all in there. Um, we will then have to actually add them into our uh, global textures here. So I'm just going to copy Rad Marvin here. And eventually, you know, I'm doing this, I like to just, you know, bring these resources into here uh, as public shared variables. And what that does is it essentially just, as soon as the project loads, these things are in memory and ready to go. Um, there, there is a way to load um, image resources on the fly from disk uh, in your game environment. Uh, you know, I always consider loading from disk an expensive operation to uh, complete, and you never want to do that in your game cycle. But uh, you know, at the beginning of a level or you know, loading an environment, uh, that's a perfect, perfectly reasonable time to uh, load those from disk on you know while your application is running. So you can certainly do that if you want. And, uh, I will probably have a tutorial for just that thing uh, in the near future. It makes it so you don't have to do this and, and also we'll be able to, you know, later on we can supply aliases and stuff for these uh, to reference them a little easier. So I'm going to create one for the princess and I'm going to create one for the merchant. And finally, I shall create one for... Uh, I just call her female one. I don't know why. You can name yours whatever you like. And I'm going to separate this little subsection here. Little comment. Copy Rad Marvin. And repeat the process. So, princess. And we need to change the path because otherwise they will all have Rad Marvin's uh, face on them. So uh, we want to just reference the PNG file here, Princess. And the Lamin Merchant. And finally, Female One. Your, vari your variable names do not matter. The only thing that matters is that you have the correct path. And in this case, it is the GFX folder, tunes, and then the, uh, the name of the file without the extension. So those are now a part of our project. So every time we load the game, those will be in memory and ready to use. Um, next step is going to be actually creating our NPC class.